Hey guys, today we are gonna try to waffle my Trader Joe's haul. That's the money shot right there. I'm gonna first start off with this chocolate babka. It's a nice swirly chocolate bread like this. So will babka waffle. I think this would be a great candidate for a waffle maker. Hear that sizzle. There's varying range of heat on my waffle maker, but I'm just gonna do it on medium heat for all of them just to see. It looks incredible, and if you guys are here, it smells even better than it looks. I don't know. And this is how you should actually just eat chocolate babka. It's delicious. Our next one, hash browns. I love potatoes in all shapes and sizes. I'm gonna make it interesting and mix it with some cheddar cheese. Cheesy potatoes, you know? Frozen potatoes. Mix them all together. I have some more fun ones on the way. So if you guys like more Trader Joe's hauls and hack ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Will it waffle? I think it will. It's actually taking a really long time. So how I feel about the waffle machine is that it really reminds me of the George Foreman grill. Do you guys remember that? It just like slants down a little bit, but this closes more tightly than the George Foreman grill. I used to have one of those. <laughs> Whoa. So the cheese looks nice and melted. The top layer is semi done. I feel like this can use a little bit longer, just another minute, but I'm gonna spray it with some oil to keep get it going. For the oil, I'm just using this olive oil spray from Trader Joe's. Aha! Maybe I just didn't put enough, but I feel like it does waffle. You have crispity, crunchity hash browns. The bottom part actually looks a lot better. Right here, whoa! That's the money shot right there. Cha-ching! Cheese is a must for this. Mmm, that definitely waffled. I'm probably not gonna go back to making hash browns the same again. So the next item I have is the chasu bao barbecue pork buns. Take the paper off. We'll just do two in the front. This one's a little bit of a stretch, but we'll see. All right, time's up. It looks kind of cool. It's just warm. Definitely has those waffle marks. I'm gonna let it cool for a quick second. So the question is, is it even hot? Now when I put this in, it wasn't frozen anymore and I feel like that's the way to go for these bigger ones. But let's see if it tastes good. Hmm. It's a little crunchy and it's just warm inside. It's not hot. I'm not sure if a waffle works for this, but it looks cool. So my last Trader Joe's haul, I showed you guys these mochi chicken balls and they were pretty good. I toasted them up in the air fryer and they were nice and crunchy, but I've seen those waffle mochi, mochi waffles, and I wonder if these work. They've thawed for 20 minutes, so I'm putting two into each of the quarters because I wanna see if they'll like stick together because mochi tends to be a little glutinous. Ooh. Okay, it's actually starting to melt. The timer went off, but I'm gonna try to give it another few minutes because it's actually getting, it looks like it's getting really soft. Oh. Okay, it definitely fused together right here. It's nice and crunchy on the outside, but it's soft. The top is nice and crispy, and the parts that exploded outside, the meat filling that exploded outside has like a caramelized brown look to it. I have really high hopes for this one. That is bomb. You get the chewiness on the outside right here, and then the meat filling is cooked through, it's heated. This is the way to go. If you guys wanna make these mochi kung pao balls, put it in your waffle iron. And if you guys are college students, I don't know if you're gonna be able to live in a dorm next year, but when that happens again, get a waffle iron and get these, they're so good. This is such a good college student machine. Falafels. I was craving falafel the other day and I'm so glad that they have fully cooked falafels. This reminds me of the one that we grew up going to. Shoot, what is it called now? Falafel drive-in in San Jose. That's like the best falafel I've ever had in my life. So just a ball like this. I think this will do well. Yeah, they look like tater tots except they're made with chickpeas and herbs. I'm just gonna go ahead and smush it down all the way. I've defrosted it for like 20 minutes. It smells so good. Ta-da! Nice and crispy looking. I haven't had to add any oil in these. I mean, they 
probably already have oil in them, but let's give our falafel balls a try. It's nice and crispy. Mm. The falafel itself is not super good. Maybe because they have the bar set really high for my falafel experience. I don't know if I would buy this again. It's how like a falafel ball should be like texture wise. It's just not very flavorful. It's just okay. I have like a whole treasure chest of goodies down here. It's just uh, cooler that I'm keeping everything cold. We have mac and cheese balls. I mean, what is better than mac and cheese balls, right? I'm just gonna put one in each and we'll just squish her down. So I have the heat all the way to number six just cause I wanted it to get nice and crispy and brown. It's sizzling right now. I think it's ready. It looks good. Wow. We got some marinara sauce on the side. Oh, if I was having a party, I would totally, well, I mean, presentation-wise, it doesn't look that great, but if it's just for your friends, who cares? So these have cooled down. I'm gonna dip it with some marinara sauce. Still pretty hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is incredible. I bet this would be really good with their truffle ketchup too, which I have over here. Mm. That's the way to go. We're gonna make orange chicken fried rice. Yes, we're gonna mesh them together and see if they're any good. In college, I used to buy these all the time. Like they're on par with Panda Expresses. They come in little pieces like this and then there's a sauce packet. What I'm gonna do is actually just chop it into smaller chunks. So now I'm just gonna mix the chicken with the rice. Ooh, there's chicken in here. Oh yeah, chicken fried rice, uh, duh. Extra chicken, add our orange sauce. Mix it up. And now it's ready to go. This one might have gone a little far because it smells a little burnt. <gasps> no! It must have been the sauce. I'm super bummed. Fried rice does not waffle. I feel like it could though, like if you mix an egg with it. I didn't do that because this already had an egg in there, but I wonder if I mix an egg with it with like more glutinous rice, like short grain rice is a little more starchy. I'm actually really disappointed in this. It's probably my own fault. I may have to redeem myself and try this again with the egg later. Ah, got a piece of chicken and some rice. Mm. It definitely tastes good. Mm. I'll have to redeem myself and do this again another time. Another really popular and a crowd favorite is this cauliflower and cauliflower gnocchi. It's a little on the frozen side. So I've seen people make this in their air fryer and it puffs up a little bit and it's like nice and golden brown. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I feel like this could work. <gasps> what? This actual, okay, so sorry. It's a little bit burnt from the previous one we did. I try to clean it out as best as possible, but this is, Awesome, I wish I would have filled up the whole thing now. It's a little gummy, but it's crispy as well. If you guys have not nailed down the cooking process for the call, I can't say that today, for the cauliflower gnocchi and have given up on it, give it a try on the waffle iron because I really like the crust that the iron gives it and then in the inside it's still like nice pillowy and soft mixed with some marinara. This is like the perfect lunch. For a while I was eating that almost every day because it was so good. We have tamales. I actually bought two, a sweet corn, chicken and cheese. Tamales, tamales, I'm sorry. I apologize if I don't say things correctly all the time. But anyways, here is the corn. Listen to it sizzle. They've both thawed for half an hour now, so I actually also turned up the heat on the waffle iron so that it would cook a lot darker. Ooh, whoa! It's bubbling on this side, so hopefully it's fully cooked and warm throughout. So this one has a nice crust on top. This one feels a little soft and it's falling apart. So I probably could have used maybe another minute to get a good crunch. This one is not as crunchy, but it's also a different dough. All right, let's try chicken. Mmm, this is really good. It's like nice and soft, but with a little tiny bit of a crunch. And then the corn one, this one definitely has a better crust than the last one, and the last one was already good, so. 
Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. This one is really good. I love sweet corn. We're gonna bake a pie in the waffle iron. And this has been thawed. So this pie crust is way too big for the waffle iron, so I'm gonna cut it in half. We're gonna spread some mascarpone on each side. All right, then we're gonna add some fresh peach slices, add a dash of cinnamon, some brown sugar. Our waffle iron is ready. I'm just gonna fold this on top, kinda seal down the sides, but the waffle iron will do that for us anyways. And let's make some pie. The pie's looking good, guys. The pie's looking good. This might be a game changer. Yeah, that's the peach juice going. Hey, I think this is made with real butter. I see like butter pieces here. Yes, this is with real butter. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Trader Joe's used to have a different pie crust, which I thought was terrible. All right, let's see. Oh, <gasps> ugh. This was again, my fault because I had it turned up to number five when I should have just done it at number four. The sugar spilled out. It's not terrible. It's not anything like the rice, which was really sad, but sugar burning on a waffle iron will obviously, oh no. Let's see the bottom. Ooh, there you go. That looks a lot better. Sometimes the bottom just looks so much better than the top. Let's get, our pie slice. It's in the shape of a pie. <laughs> oh. Peach pie. It definitely cooked up really well. And peach is good because it's like, it cooks fast, so it works really good for the waffle iron. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. The brown sugar is a nice addition. And then you get like the cheese. I wonder if apple slices will do just as well. I bet it would. This is delicious. If I had some ice cream, that would have been perfect. I would say my top three were the pie, the babka, and probably the mochi balls, although the tamales were pretty good too. But everything was really good, and if you guys are in a pinch, like use your waffle iron. It's an amazing tool. Comment in the section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.